Good afternoon, Diamondbacks. Today is Wednesday, September 25th. Family, Career, and Community Leaders of America, known as FCCLA, is a national career and technical student organization that provides personal growth, leadership development, and career preparation opportunities for students in family and consumer sciences education. Learn more about becoming an FCCLA member. Go to their meeting today, right after school, in the Big 12 Lecture Hall. Any students that miss their designated pick today will be able to take their photograph tomorrow, Thursday, during first block. And students that are bused to AEP, SDC, or SHS during first block will need to go by the gym before 8 a.m. Seniors, if you haven't spoken to Herf Jones, they'll be visiting our campus on the following days, October 10th and 11th, November 14th and 15th, and again on December 12th and 13th. Make, make your plans to meet with them during lunch, and don't forget to have in mind what you want to purchase so you don't take up too much time on the line. Battle of the Lunches is this week, A Lunch versus B Lunch. Student Council will be collecting donations that will go to Philip Vanny Cook Children's Cancer Center's pantry. Battle of the Lunches will end this Friday. The winning lunch will get extra days for extra cell phone use. You can also come by room 212 to donate. Remember, this doesn't involve physical violence. Hey dude, did you hear that Walmart banned the sale of e-cigarettes in all their U.S. stores? Well, this comes as no surprise after the outbreak of a mysterious vaping-related lung disease that's killed at least eight people in recent weeks. But Robert, it's only eight people. Hey, there's one person's enough, okay? But what is the deal with vaping anyway? What's the deal? Let's find out. Let's find out. People who choose to use electronic cigarettes may have questions about the product safety. There is an increasing body of literature talking about the risks associated with electronic cigarettes. Research from UC San Diego shows e-cigarettes are toxic to the airways, cause inflammation, dampen the immune system, and may make you more susceptible to bad bacterial infections. They studied this in mice. I think we need to be very clear as clinicians that these electronic cigarettes have an unknown safety profile. They're not regulated by the Food and Drug Administration. They are not regulated by good manufacturing practices. Mayo Clinic addiction expert Dr. John Ebert says because e-cigarettes aren't regulated, we don't know exactly what's added to the nicotine. We don't yet know all of the potential health risks. It was challenging to figure these cases out initially because it's a previously unrecognized disease. Uh, I think we, like everyone else, dismissed the hazards of vaping because, uh, you know, there's a, there's a push to perceive it as a safer alternative to smoking. You know, people know the dangers of smoking cigarettes, but you should know the dangers of vaping. Um, you know, they do promote it as a safer alternative, but it's not if it's not regulated properly. E-cigarettes, vape pens, jewels. They're often marketed as safe alternatives to smoking. But their cool designs, fun flavors, and the fact that they're easy to hide means it's not only smokers who want them, it's kids. And for kids, they're definitely not safe. Teens should absolutely not use jewels, e-cigarettes, or any similar products. Here's why. When kids use jewels or other e-cigarettes, they're getting a big dose of nicotine. This disrupts their brain development. It changes the connections between brain cells, causing problems with learning, mood, and impulse control. It makes depression and anxiety worse. And as any smoker can tell you, nicotine is highly addictive. That makes it very difficult to quit e-cigarettes. And vaping makes it much more likely that kids will smoke real cigarettes later. It's true that a few e-cigarette brands don't contain nicotine, but most of them do. And all of them contain other dangerous chemicals like these. Formaldehyde, which is found in glue and embalming fluid. Diacetyl, which causes lung disease. Benzene, that's a carcinogen linked to leukemia. Some tests have also found metal particles in the e-cigarette vapor. The devices themselves can also be unsafe. They can explode. The long-term effects of using e-cigarettes are unknown. And because there are no standards, we don't know the ingredients in these products. We don't want children to take unnecessary risks with their health and begin a lifelong addiction to nicotine. All right, guys, remember, smoking isn't the only thing that causes lung cancer anymore. Stay safe out there and make good choices. So stop being annoyances in the restroom. Uh, this has been your Daily, Daily Diamondback. Diamondback.